Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. We got some uh, pretty big news coming out of Verizon. Uh, someone sent this to me. I don't know where this originated from. I'm positive it's from a, I mean, it's clearly from a Verizon customer. But they're making changes as well. So T-Mobile is not the only one to address the issue about people using a different address to get qual to gain qualification for FWA and then actually using it at another address. So it's not only T-Mobile dealing with that, it's Verizon dealing with that too. So that's, what's, that's what I'm pointing out here in this video. So that's how you could say that's how much demand there is for this product that people are willing to tweak the rules and policies to get this product. And then at the same token, the store reps are looking to make commission and they want to sell it. So they're like, okay, if, if, if it can be done, if the system allows that, then let's go ahead and do it, you know, so they can get their, hit their sales quota and make their commission. So confirm your Verizon home internet address before October 5th, 2024. Avoid reduced internet speeds. So it looks like, right, so I go on to read here. So we notice your home internet is being used at an address different than we have on file, right? So they probably did the same thing. They, they got it approved with another address and they're using it at a different address. Verizon home internet should only be used at the qualified service address per our terms of service. This ensures we're able to provide you with the best possible service. So then it goes on to say data speeds uh, may be reduced up to 25 megabits download and five megabits upload on 5G, which it can clearly do more and handle more, right? I think it, I think the max is like 300 megabits. At 25, you might be able to only stream one TV. And I think that's Verizon doing that to limit the household uh, as, uh, you know, as far as data usage goes or overall bandwidth because it's not at, at an approved address. So that sector or whatever the case may be cannot handle that additional usage and it, that area was never meant to have home internet. So I think they're doing that for now, right, to reduce the speeds, to make it a less of a great product or less performing product. And then eventually they either cut that customer off, I assume, or that customer just has to send it back because it's it's such a worse experience, right? If it's if there's four people in the house, five people, it's just not going to work. 25 megabits is just not enough to, to, for everyone to be on at the same time. Gaming, streaming, it's just not enough. So instead of cutting the customer off, they reduce the speeds, possibly give the customer a little bit of time to find another service or to move to another provider. So I think this is the right way to do it, right? The, the way that T-Mobile apparently was going to do it is just directly cut that customer off, have them send it back, right? That's not the, that's not the right way to do business, right? So you give them 30 days and maybe that's what Verizon is doing here. They're, they're reducing the speeds. They know for sure that sector cannot handle the additional FWA usage. So they reduce the speed. They give the customer a little bit of time to, to, Go with cable or whoever, right? Because you might have to get an installation date. It, it just takes time to move to another provider. It just can't happen, you know, from one day to the next. Unless it's another FWA provider like T-Mobile, they can go to the store, get the unit same day, which is, you know, probably not very likely. So they might have to call Spectrum, Charter, Comcast, AT&T, whoever, schedule an installation date. Takes a little while, right? It's, it, it's not going to happen overnight. So this is Verizon doing it the right way, in my opinion. Reduce the speeds so there's still enough to at least have, I don't know, send emails. Maybe you, you, you do uh, work from home, whatever. Reduce the speeds, give the customer some time, and then eventually they have to remove themselves off the service. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Just want to make everyone aware so that way you know if you did this process, if you have it at an address, you got it approved, through a different address, you're going to get this notification very soon if you haven't gotten it already. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.